What up everybody, welcome back to Unplugged and Uncut. I'm your host, Unique. And I got a question for everybody. America. And that question is, are the Golden State Warriors for real? Well, let's find out. Because in today's topic, we're going to get into just that. Are these Golden State Warriors back and are they for real? But before we get into our topic, make sure if you have not taken the time to go ahead and become a subscriber, you go ahead and subscribe. Once we hit 100,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a PlayStation 5. That's right. All you have to do to win is be an active subscriber and drop a comment on one of our videos. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the subject at hand. These Golden State Warriors coming in at 12 and 2 after beating the brakes off of Kevin Durant, James Harden, and the Brooklyn Nets, 117 to 99. All right. So I had to ask myself. I actually wrote this show while they were playing the game, and I figured they were going to win because of the way they were playing by halftime. And then they just came out in the third quarter and blitzed them. <laughs> it was like, whoa. And speaking of third quarter, they actually got the best third quarter point differential. So Golden State has been holding it down in the third quarter. So first things first. Are these Golden State Warriors for real? The answer to that is a very simple yes. And let me tell you why. Number one, AI. Andre Iguodala is back. And having Andre Iguodala back is like having Draymond Green come off your bench. That's right, you got an excellent defender and a passer. In fact, AI boasts a 5.4 assist to turnover ratio. That is just beast mode. The dude is a lockdown defender, can defend anybody one to four in some small ball fives. And he's an excellent passer. He's a clutch player, hits you big shots when you want and need. The next reason I think these guys are for real is because the 12 and 2 without Klay Thompson. That's right, one of the baddest boys on the planet is sitting there getting ready to come back. He is my actual X factor for this team winning the chip this year. If he can get and stay, keywords, get healthy and stay healthy, this team is back to its dominant ways. That is right. Clay Thompson, one of the best shooters the league has ever seen, another lockdown defender. If he can just get back to 80%, 75%, the league is in trouble. All right. Another thing this team has going for it is they have a lot of tradable assets if they wanted to get into that win now mode. Or they could stay as they are, are currently constructed because right now they got the best of both worlds. They got a Really good young core learning how to win with legends like Steph, Clay, and Draymond. And they got a core that's ready to win. Speaking of Steph, Clay, and Draymond, <laughs> Andrew Wiggins, uh, Jordan Poole. These boys are ready to win. Otto Porter, is, Otto Porter is ready to win. The dude is a lockdown defender and can get buckets. He's another good player off the bench. Now. I personally would not trade my assets, but you do got James Wiseman, Jonathan Kaminga, and Moses Moody. All right, when you take that into account, these young guns have a lot of trade value. So if you wanted to go after a dis uh, situation like a Jalen Brown, I could see that being an upgrade. Um, a Thaddeus Young, something where you don't got to trade as much for. Those type of players I could see uh, Warriors going after, but they don't have to make any trades. In fact, I would keep James Wiseman, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, Gary Payton, and Andrew Wiggins and let them continue to learn championship habits under the players that they're playing with. That's invaluable experience that you can't get. But if you do, then you do got the pieces necessary to get a Jalen Brown type player. Wiggins contract is going to be the main key to helping them land an all-star player. If I'm going to stay, I'm not going to chase after Bradley Bill or Dame Lillard. Uh, the kind of repetitive Dame Lillard and Steph Curry, that's a kind of a repetitive Bradley Bill, Clay Thompson. That's why I mentioned Jalen Brown, Thaddeus Young type player. Somebody that actually fits into the mode and something that they could use that would help them. I'm not saying Dame and 
Bradley Bill would have helped them. I just don't see how much they help when they already got Curry taking those shots. All right, and I like Wiggins, even though he has an albatross of a contract. Andrew Wiggins is still young and is a really good player. All right, so the next thing that makes this team a legit contender is the team. That's right, this team averages 29.5 assists. They play great team defense and their bench players come in looking to play defense and shut people down. That's right. So, real quickly, who in the West scares this team? If you're the Golden State Warriors sitting at 12 and two, who are you looking at? The Los Angeles Lakers? I mean, the Lakers, they got some shooting problems right now and some turnover problems. I mean, LeBron James is a really good player, but he turns the ball over at a, a nice clip about two or three turnovers a game, and then you add Russell Westbrook's quadruple double machine <laughs> turnover problems. They got a shooting and a turnover problem right now. So the Lakers don't really scare the Golden State Warriors. The Clippers don't got Kawhi Leonard. That would be the team to scare them with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard being able to shut down their best players if they're healthy. But Kawhi's not here, so I think Golden State Warriors are for real. They are a legit threat for the championship this year. And I don't really see anybody in the West that can hang with them as presently constructed. I think a few teams might have to make a, make some trades and we, we might see some trades coming up. So I'll get into some more trades, rumors going on around there for you guys. But right now, the Golden State Warriors are for real. And that's what I wanted to get into, man. So I'd like to hear what you guys think. Do y'all agree that the Golden State Warriors are back? And if Klay Thompson comes back, they are ready to dominate the landscape of the NBA for another at least one to three years, maybe four years, because those guys are still pretty young and they got a nice young core coming up behind them. So let me know what you think. Unplugged and uncut. It's your boy Unique, and I'm out. Unplugged and uncut.